Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Jane A. and welcome back to another toy review where I am actually going to try and finish a series. I'm going to consistently try to look for the rest of this line because I'm actually kind of interested. And it's mostly because of, yes, as you can see, this is Marvel's Game Reverse. I don't know if this is going to be like a Hasbro product or has. I don't know what they actually categorize this on my YouTube video. YouTube channel, but yeah, this is from the 2017 Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite game. Yes, I know I'm late, but yeah, uh, the retail store where I get where I get all of my uh, review stuff, the well, things towards the review, just released these. I'm still looking for uh, Captain Marvel, and I did earlier that there was an Iron Man and uh, X, or I forgot what the name. The classic name of it, but uh, yeah, I have Black here. I have Black Widow and Ryu, and Ryu is from the Capcom universe. Uh, with her, I think Street Fighter is uh, X, same universe as X, which is, I believe, she's called Ultraman or uh, not Mega Man or Mega Man. Or something. He's he has a uh, it's. I think it's right hand as a can. I don't know. I I'm, I'm not a big huge fan of that Capcom universe, but yeah, Let's give Black Widow, which uh, yeah, that's what she looks like in the game. She's not, actually not part of the storyline. Yeah, I have not played the game. I have only seen less plays of it, but yeah, she's she is a playable character after you complete the game, or unless it's a DLC. I don't know, but uh, yeah. And yes, I am wearing a yellow shirt in this, so it might be hard to see reflection, but uh, there's only in, uh, well, on the side you have a box of Black Widow, which she is voiced by Laura Bailey, who's so far, like, the most well-known voice of Black Widow, if you look on IMDb or a film like that. Now, this is the cartoon look of Black Widow, right here, but... This right here, she's kind of looking at her hair, but I don't know if you guys can see this, but this looks more like uh, Scarlett Johansson from Scarlett Johansson Black Widow from the Winter Soldier uh, look, or, uh, but this doesn't look like, but with her uh, Age of Ultron look, and I think this might just be her age, this Scarlett Johansson from Age of Ultron, but uh, yeah, well, yeah, I think it is because uh, if you guys have played Marvel vs. Capcom, you do know Ultron is in the game. So, uh, yeah, you got Yu with the, I believe it's Hadouken. I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of that universe. But, uh, yeah, universe, you got that, you got the barcode, you can have a uh, game mod of Ryu. I'm not pronouncing that right, but uh, yeah, you have Black Widow, which. That that's actually her game art, her icon, which shows her coming with her baton. But this one, it doesn't come with her baton. It only comes with her pistols. It I believe are usable ones. But yeah, it says bio says trained extensively in the art of combat and espionage, and outfitted with state of the art tech. Natasha Romanova, or Natasha Romanov, is a super spy known as Black Widow. And yeah, for views, background. Bio it says after Ryu was adopted by the martial arts master, he was taught the assassin's fist in a street fight and martial arts tournament, starting a never ending quest for self improvement. Which, if you played in, played the game, uh, Ryu is, or I don't know, Ryu or Ryu, I don't know, but yeah, this guy he's he shows up at the same time in the game as the Hulk. He teaches the Hulk how to actually control his rage more because. He has like a charge up mode where it's essentially like Hulk, except for like turn green and like smash up things. But uh, yeah, hopefully I can actually like turn, like move the hair out of the way because otherwise it's going to be kind of a bit disappointing to get this out and not have, uh, not be able to like see Black Widow, both Black Widow's eyes clearly, like, 
with the box art shows and actually the in game one. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this, for the intro portion. So, uh, yeah, so let's get these two out here and see how awesome they are. Okay, guys, over here we have the Marvel vs. Capcom uh, Infinite, uh, well, Game Reverse uh, 2 pack uh, of Black Widow and, and Ryu open up kind of packaging. And yes, I know I've been pronouncing, I've been screwing up the name for the intro. Apparently, it's, it's his name is pronounced Ryu, but like as you know, I'm Asian, so it it, it does kind of looks like Ryu, or Ryu, or Ryu, or Ryu. It's not really Ryu. It's kind of. I, I don't quite remember what they call him in the game, but I'm going by other reviewers, they call him Ryu. And one thing I noticed at, when I actually got this, uh, Black Widow isn't, well also, Black Widow isn't entirely game accurate. She's essentially just a repaint, well, with kind of a head, new head look from the actual MCU's Age of Ultron. Uh, look, which why, which is why I've kind of pointed out, she kind of looked, had Age of Ultron look. So yeah, not how the game accurate because, well, if you look at the packaging, you can see that, well, obviously, well, taking a look at Black Widow first, because obviously her mobility, when she stands, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to position her. But yeah, you can see that her, the hair is, the face isn't exactly, like, fully in view. Oh, well, completely in view, so, uh, yeah. I mean, compared to, I mean, just taking, hopefully I don't knock down Ryu, but uh, yeah, just taking a look at the box art, you can clearly see, you, you can see both of Black Widow's eyes, whereas if you just take a look at the actual toy itself, just looking at it at from, well, at, at an angle, yeah, you can see, you can see both eyes. Well, at an angle, you can see both eyes, but... She's looking direct. Her left eye is obscured by her hair. So yeah, if you're looking at it directly head on, which I don't think, I don't think, like in in the game, which is apparently it's a DLC. I don't think like you you'll ever see Black Widow with the full head looking directly at the camera. But he also, yes, this is simply just a direct repaint. Well, was. Site retooling of the Age of Ultron one, which I apparently did not know there was even one, even a Black Widow who would like this. If it was, I put, I would most certainly got one. So, uh, yeah, as you see, the suit is completely different. But yeah, the hash not the suit design is completely different, but that it keep, keep consistency with the paint, also the Black Widow suit, which what I go on a little over a little bit. Main thing that is different is obviously the hair isn't pushed away, so you push off to the side. And yes, since this is a uh, since it's a repaint of the MCU's uh, Black Widow uh, from Age of Ultron, uh, obviously the face sculpt is going to look exactly like Scarlett Johansson. Which comments on on the video that I watched. Uh, say this kind of looks like Monica Lewinsky. I'm not gonna go into depth about that. I'm just gonna leave it at that because again, this is a kids show, and yeah, p parents watching this will, will probably know what I'm talking about. So uh, yeah, moving on. You know, so I won't be talking about other features on this because again, this is a kids show. This is for people under the age of 13. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, Black Widow, she appeals to majority of the MCU viewers, which are most like, mostly male viewers who just enjoy superheroes. I mean, it, it, that's not saying that females don't, aren't supposed to be watching the MCU. I'm not just saying that, just that this character appeals to a wide, most of the viewers and MCU, which is, which are males. I, hopefully I'm getting my facts right, but, uh, 
Yeah, from what I know, most of the MCU are uh, male viewers. So, uh, yeah, as you see here, she's wearing her tight, uh, like, cat suit or body, well, actual, like, real-life term, they call this a body suit. Well, body suit, but, uh, it's in, well, if it's a leather body suit or a leather cat suit, but cat suit is uh, typically referred to cat, Catwoman in the DC universe, so and I can't call it a cat suit. But, uh, yeah. Or Catwoman, but, uh. Or Selena Kyle. I just had a. I just had a brain lapse here, but, uh. Yeah, I just had a really thin one of characters. I mean, cat. There's. There's a Marvel character that's essentially the exact same as Catwoman from DC, but uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna go there because yeah, that that, that just took maybe like 30 seconds of, of this of the video, but uh, yeah, see how it just like hugs her body because that's what a bodysuit does, body suit, and yeah, this is essentially just a direct re. Repaint because obviously Age of Ultron. If you saw the promo pictures for uh, Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow, you do see that you do you have like the activation light. So when Natasha takes out of batons, it turn it activates the lights. But on I believe in the movie in the poster for Black Widow and MCU, these are on. Just doesn't glow, but uh. Yeah, but they're kind of doing something similar to the cartoon, like the Avengers Assemble Black Widow with the hair covering, or, yeah, like, covering over Natasha's left eye. Yeah, just look up Avengers Assemble Black Widow, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah. Now, articulation, it's obviously it's exactly the same as the Age of Ultron, so if you had that, obviously you will get the same thing. But, uh, yeah, head looks like that, uh, up and down, but obviously since you have the hair here, which looks like a scar to hands some black water from uh, Age of Ultron, that rotates around. I mean, obviously you have, aren't the eyes blue? Yeah, these are blue eyes. Yeah. Apparently, apparently these are blue eyes. Did not know that. Because... Well, I was taking a look at her game when her eyes are green in the game and also a comics continuity, Black Widow's eyes are green. I don't know why these are blue. Well, you know, complain now, but uh, yeah, you see she's holding her pistol, but uh, yeah. So I just get down to kind of like the lower body articulation. For one thing I noticed, it says that both of her hands are able to hold her uh, pistols, which are consistent again with the MCU, uh, Age of Ultron Black Widow, but, uh, yeah, her left hand, uh, doesn't have the nuts, like a separated finger just to go around the trigger, it just, like, it's hold, it's just holding something, like a stick, like a, b a baton, which, again, in the box, on the box, back of the box, it shows she actually has her batons, which, this package does not come with batons because obviously where where are you gonna store the batons? Because obviously a toy you can't really collapse the batons. And you know, where else could you put it on here? There isn't really much storage space, but uh yeah. Really mine really she can't hold the gun in the left hand. But uh yeah. Again, just take out the guns. These are really small, so again, there is a uh age warning. Also, there's also a choking hazard because, again, as soon as Ryu's fist, uh, these can be easily swallowed because they're tiny. Also, if, they, if you drop them, they could bounce everywhere. Like, if any of these guns, they would exact same. I believe this is a, either it's a Glock or a Colt 19 or a Colt pistol. It's not a Sig Sauer, but it's a Glock 19 or something. A Colt Python. I'm not sure what they're supposed to 
these pistols are, but they do kind of have like a uh, kind of like a like a like a laser sight kind of like to kind of a targeting beam or something. I don't know why Natasha needs it, but uh, yeah, these they're the exact same. I mean, you can see if I can zoom in them. Zooming in here, you can kind of see like all the details here, but uh, you can see my nails, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's the exact same all around, and oh my god, I did not know I had that. Yeah, you see more of my fingers. Mm. And uh, yeah, you can see the amount of detailing to put it, it's, it's good, but uh, obviously most people aren't going to be like, just like zooming in for it, for all of that, just, but uh, she does come with her hip holsters, which are painted differently than in the, in the Ultron, but uh, yeah, you just kind of push them in, they kind of friction hold in there, which isn't tell you that secure, but they kind of have a little part that sticks out, and kind of angle backwards, which is kind of, Weird, which I, I'm I'm not a, a firearms I'm not an expert on firearms or not so or also hip holsters, but a, yeah, I almost like to consider like straight up or kind of like slightly angle forward so you can immediately grab and pull it forward so you can like go like that. When you stick it out to the back, it'll kind of like it cause you to kind of angle your hands with the ergonomics of the angling for this uh, hip holster or well obviously on the box art I am talking a lot about this but uh, yeah on the box art they're not hip holsters they're thigh they're attached to wrapped around her thigh they're thigh holsters so they're kind of wrapped on her thigh where or the what actual holster is attached to a little belt thing that goes around the thigh now this is kind of the separate things, but obviously they couldn't put it here for articulation purposes. So uh, yeah, again, arms, arms have this like light up thing, almost out like this. Pin and swivel rotates around like so. Oh, well, and like I said, it angles backwards, so again it falls out a lot if you bump it or something. But uh, yeah, kind of push it in, rotates. Does it rotate up here? Oh, does it doesn't. It rotates above the elbow and also at the wrist, so you can get a whole bunch range of actual poses. Again, no act crunch or no waist to take this on the Ryu. <sighs> Hopefully, I'm forgetting. I'm pronouncing that again. I'm not a fan of the Capcom universe or the Street Fighter. I want to know if I'm pronouncing that correctly? But uh, yeah, the yeah, legs. Oh. Because obviously this kind of hikes up a little. Yeah. Was there even a forward and back motion? This, this isn't even a forward and back motion because, like, because, I mean, you do the butt, I don't call it the butt flap, but the butt, actually, the peg where you put the legs in isn't, is actually very, see, but it rotates. You can kind of get it to bend forward. Like that if you want to do that, kind of, like, kind of have a kick like that. But again, since the line, the the blue lines are supposed to obviously, they're supposed to like match the lineup with their uh, suit. And I just noticed, no, nope. yeah, they're supposed to line up, like, kind of like, fucking. Oh wait, yeah, you can do that. So you kind of have her kick like that, but that kind of splays her feet out in a Y uh, pose. But again, yeah, that kind of helps her stability. Yeah, it, it improves with her stability. But uh, yeah, when obviously in the package, it comes with her feet kind of splayed out like that. Again, touch wise, I mean, you can kind of see the letters here, the product numbers, and sort of like shows it's a Hasbro product. Man, you're trying to has, bro. There we go. Camera, camera, focus. Yeah, same texture as Alice Lee, Age Ultron, Black Widow. 
also, well, it bends, there's, I believe there are two joints on the knee. Yeah, there are two joints on the knee so you can get forward motion. Obviously, you do a foot pivot like that and a foot in the back. Obviously, no side to side, but that helps with stability. Again, that's a stability thing. So, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Obviously, Black Widow is a kind of like a... This one's kind of more... Kind of a lighter, much more thinner figure. Because, of, well... They kind, of, they kind of have to do it because she's wearing a bodysuit. So, yeah, I'm kind of going to lay her down because in case she doesn't fall over. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing a complete uh, opinion at the end. But, yeah, moving on to Ryu. This is what he looks like completely out of the package. And obviously, he does he comes with a Hadouken. Well, which I believe that's the correct term. I mean, you do have is either as a black belt. Well, yeah, that's a black belt. I don't know if it's judo or karate. I don't know. I don't play Street Fighter. I don't know the actual lore. But you have, if you put these two together, you have thrown the fire. It's not really a fire, but it's a Hadouken along with the Mayo Mayo or something or the wave and again I'm not a f I'm not a uh, Street Fighter fan but you do have is a kind of like the <gasps> hucking their fireball one but yeah face you kind of have that with the banana banana what am I talking about man I've been <sighs> this video is getting way too long this bandana on the hair and if I can't focus on the face there you go and, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see this, but the, but the skin tone for his chest and his arms are different colors. Which, I don't know, I don't know a quick glance, they're actually not supposed to be the same color. So, uh, well, they're supposed to be the same color, not in this YouTube for too long. But yeah, I saw in other videos that you can take off the actual, like, the robe, the karate robe, or the judo robe, I don't know what he does. But, uh, yeah. I don't know how to do it, but I mean, you can unbutton this from, uh, right here, I mean, just unbutton it, that. But, uh, yeah. You see all the muscles and stuff. And yes, Ryu shows up at the same time in the game as the Hulk. So yeah, if you guys already played the game, you know. And yes, he does put boxing gloves and kind of teaches the Hulk how to calm his, uh, rage. We came in like that, and uh, yeah, with the accessories, uh, Ryu comes with both a left and a right fist, which obviously on here you have like the kind of throwing of a of the Kadukin. But uh, yeah, if you want to take it off, it just comes off easily. I mean, you just pull. I mean, it comes off in like a little peg. But over time, I think that this might eventually snap, which. Well, which will kind of lead people to kind of petition Hasbro. Well, obviously, like Hot Toys, obviously gives you extra pegs, so you so you don't have so you don't have the tendency to kind of like like yank off the hand straps because that sound kind of makes me fear that it's gonna break. But uh, yeah, just take and replace it with the. Going in, there we go. So yeah, it's it's a plastic, but uh, his actual like robe, not really a robe, but it uh, is. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a robe. I forgot it's a karate, karate or whatever. His a martial arts outfit has a kind of like a dirt, a kind of dirty up look, which again is comes consistent with the, well, box art really show, but yeah, he's consistent. With the actual game, what's well, a wear and tear kind of thing? Yeah, you got a white, and obviously he's barefoot. Which the the holes on the bottom of the both Black Widows and right, you see are for like the actual like stand. That if you get like the like the four pack, right, if you got Captain Marvel and Chun Li pack, it does come with a stand, so you can so you can get these in poses. Which actually the stand helps with stability, but uh, obviously first time getting a series. 
and I will have to correct myself in the intro. Uh, it's Iron Man and Mega Man. It, that was like the first wave. Oh, I'm still looking out for Captain Marvel. Yeah, if, if you have seen the Hot Wheels, uh, Hot Wheels, my Hot Wheels review, you, you'll know why I'm kind of on the lookout for that. But yeah, you have Ry Ryu in this, uh, with his uh, boxing gloves on. But uh, yeah, like the fist part, like right here, like it rotates like right here. Now, the rotation part down here is when it separates. On a boxing glove, the actual white tag will line up. And this is like a boxing name thing because I did, I did actually do karate when I was younger. So yeah, I do know what what that that's all well, karate glove or something. But when you're actually like doing kind of kind of lessen the impact a little. But uh, yeah, heads heads on a ball joint. Again, you get you get a crunch so you can kind of like rotate around and all that stuff. But uh, you can't really do much of an act crunch unless you kind of like open up the shirt a little. <laughs> Again, I'm not gonna explain why this kind of looks weird. Again, this is a kids show, not some, not something for a rated R. Uh, otherwise, half half my viewers want to be watching. So, uh, yeah. Again, if you want, just kind of make sure it's all pegged in, because it does come on like a peg and hold uh, kind of system. Man, this video is getting too long. But uh, yeah, you can you can kind of. Kind of have Ryu in his like a in a boxing stance. Huh. I'm also kind of looking at the box art here, but uh, yeah, kind of have kind of like that. So you kind of I'm ready to punch like boom, boom. Yeah, you kind of know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, he does have that kind of articulation, shoulder. Bends here, rotates right below the shoulder. Yeah, that's it. And obviously, there's rotation down here. Hips here, but again, kind of restricted by the actual like tunic or karate outfit. But uh, yeah, rotates here, kind of rotates because it's kind of ball jump but restrictive. Bends down here again, rotates at the feet for full for full positioning. And uh, yeah, now getting onto the Hadouken ball. I don't know if that's actually the correct term for this. But uh, yeah. I mean, obviously this that Duke Ball again. Again, it just pegs. It's just pegs into that here, and uh, yeah, go to cross. But uh, yeah, you can do that with that Duke. But uh, yeah, it's a, also hexagonal peg, which pegs in that. Also, apparently Black Widow also does also have a uh, hexagonal peg. I guess it's for another thing here, which I will talk about in. I want to mention all this, but you do have the shockwave of the Hadouken traveling across the screen. Hadouken! Or Hadouken! I, what am I doing? But, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's my, for my review of this. Of the two pack. Hopefully, you guys know. Well, Black Widow doesn't understand. Because I have a planted table. And it's getting Ryu up. Knocking that Duke and ball down. But, uh, yeah, here you have the two pack. And, uh, yeah, now, obviously, if you are a huge fan of both universes, I would highly recommend you get, like, actually get the Gamerverse uh, series because you, because you get both Marvel and that. But, obviously, I'm excited for Black Widow because she's actually not in story or campaign mode. She is a DLC pack, but a DLC pack, which uh, I think you have to get like a code to get like the Black, Black Widow or Winter Soldier. I think, like, I don't think it's Hawkeye or something, but yeah, the DLC pack, you get Black Widow, at least Black Widow and Winter Soldier in the game. So, uh, yeah. So, obviously. I do like this. I would recommend it for specifically if you're fans of the game, specifically just the game. You don't have to be fans of Capcom and Marvel. 
But I just got this because Black Widow, I kind of like the character Black Widow. So, uh, yeah. Again, if you do want to purchase it, it's, it's in Target. I'll, I'll try to... I'll try to put a link down in the description below. See if I can find a link. So it's because it was in stock when I went in recently. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, be sure to hit that like button below. Subscribe if you're new. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And fly her pilot.